Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, North Light Images, and in this video I'm going to follow on from a picture I looked at recently, um, which was a changing point in my photography. And I'm going to have a look at another picture here, which also signifies something very important about my landscape photography. And that is my heresy, and I use the term lately, of accepting that some of my best ever landscape pictures are found pictures. What I mean by that means that they weren't planned. I was out. I had planned to the extent of having a camera with me, being in an area I liked, but it was a picture that was essentially unplanned. Now, what are my favourite? These are ones I put on the wall. Now, the one I showed the other day with the beach in Suffolk, how the, the cropping had changed things. That was something I went to Shingle Street because I like it. Um, I still like it. It's a great place to walk, walk along the beach. I took a camera because I thought I might get a good photo for it. There was no more thought than that. And that is the bit that I'm saying sometimes, and this could be very, very different for you. All of the planning that goes into landscape photography is sometimes gives that feeling of trying a bit too hard. But anyway, I'll come back to aspects of planning in photography because it does is part of my photography because I'm a professional architectural photographer and you don't do that unplanned. But I'll come back to some elements of that in a bit. But this picture here, this is Hood Canal in Washington State. I was in uh, Washington State uh, a few years ago driving around and had a sorted kit with me. Now I have got, and I'll put a, a link to this, a video that goes into some detail about the precise making of this picture. Now that includes all the pictures I took at the scene. Now I was driving along, I saw a scene, I thought mm, yeah I think there's a picture here, this might be interesting. Stopped the car, got out and went and took a load of pictures. Now I'm not going to go through all the pictures I was say, but there is a, a video that goes into the, the making, the processing, everything for this, but it also includes all of the pictures I took in about the 15 minutes that I was out of the car. Why 15 minutes? It probably started raining and I'm not one for getting wet if I can help it. Never have been. Uh, that's not going to change. You won't catch me hiking across damp um, mountainsides and up in the clouds and in the rain. Yeah, um, sorry, uh, just not for me if you like that. But I, I, I come back to some of the reasons why people do some of these things. and it's not. But Hood Canal this particular shot, I like it. Uh, it's one that I've had framed and sitting in the house for a long while. It reminds me of the place. It has a stillness. It was a slightly misty day. Or this could be the impending rain um, on its way. But in the other video, I look at different crops of this and also different shots that I took which put the horizon in a different position with respect to this spit of land. Suffice to say this is the one that I felt worked. Looked at quite a few but this one really does make a difference. Now this is the one I like. But what about, what does it mean to me? Well it means to me whatever it means because I was there. Um, if I'm producing an architectural picture then there is an audience it's aimed at. Uh, the, uh, number one is the client who I'm taking the pictures for, but there is a suspect, there's an audience for it. The picture has been taken for a reason. So there's an architectural shot behind it on the wall there. And that was done for the architects to show aspects of the one. Now that happens to be one I particularly like. I just like the composition of it, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there really. It, that was a commercial shot that I was paid for doing. This a friend of mine who's known me for years describes a lot of my sort of favourite pictures like this as Keith's holiday snaps. And if you want to call them Keith's holiday snaps, I won't be offended. Uh, did I use any filters? No. Did I use a tripod? No. In fact, I hadn't even got a tripod with me. Um, I, I think I got a small tabletop one or something like that just for some night shots that I used some few places. But yeah. Um, I didn't, it was just spontaneous. Spontaneous in that I was actually thinking about photography. 
I was thinking about the weather. I had all kinds of other things. You can never remember exactly. It's very easy to make, and you know, photographers can be very guilty of this, post hoc justifications of composition, uh, why they did various bits, how different things worked. Um, no, I'm afraid I just thought this scene looks interesting and I'll take a load of shots. It's worth noting the very first shots I took were big wide panoramics. This was taken with a um, 7200 lens, so I think it's probably taken at 200 mil. So this was not what first caught my attention, but it was the potential of a scene. But I get people say, well, you know, don't you think you could do better if you planned your photography more? Probably not. I'm just not that sort of photographer. Um, the, pho the architectural photography, yes, because that's part planned. I may have a particular building and I may scope the building out, decide what I think is the best sort of lighting, the best time for it, and then I'm hoping for the weather. Um, so yeah, that's for it. That's on some commissions for architectural photography. On other commissions it is, oh you can go and visit the site on such and such. We'll take whatever you can get. Now that to me is the real challenge in many ways because I'm going there and it's up to me to try and produce some interesting pictures using whatever equipment I've got. Now I will have a tripod with me and various things when I'm away on doing, doing paying jobs but it is very much that aspect of architectural photography of the just looking around, exploring. I did a, did a video recently about using a particular lens to photograph the, an interior space and have a look at that. Um, but it is an el much closer to this. I'm going somewhere and I've got to take some photos. Um, now, sometimes I may not be able to get much that I think is very good. But what often surprises me is I'm far more critical in that respect than the people who are paying me to take the photos because they want technically good quality photos. They're, they would like some nice, interesting photos, but they're not necessarily expecting it. Maybe they're just expecting something they can use just for promotional work. So I do that when I'm visiting construction sites and the like. Now, I will use my skills to try and make an interesting picture. For some, I will take time. You know, Found pictures are all around us. Um, in many ways, I see my approach to landscape photography and architectural photography on these occasions is very much akin to street photography. It is of the moment. It is what did I see there? What caught my attention? What did I think was good? It's why I take lots of pictures because that skill is not infallible. If I'm lucky, I will have two or three good ones amongst a load of other pictures. If I'm unlucky, I'll have to go back another time. If I don't get the opportunity to go back, well, that's, that's just it. I'm not going to complain about it. There are very few locations where I've ever found that going back to them got me a better picture. Certainly, um, the, now this particular scene, I have driven past it a few years later, and um, I think one of the trees had gone and various, you, you couldn't recreate it. Um, it is what it was then, and this was 2004, if I remember rightly. So, you know, that is what it was. Um, that's the picture I took then. Almost every picture that falls into my favourites category is of a nature that if I went back, I don't think I could improve it. In fact, I find this sometimes in architectural photography, even when I've planned all the best lighting, the angles. Now, unless it's some particular technical thing, like I need to take this shot in June because it's the uh, in June and at sort of 10 o'clock at night because it's the only time sunlight is going to be coming in a particular direction or, you know, four in the morning. Um, mind you, if you want, to, want me to take photos at four in the morning on, an, on a paying job, there is a premium uh, to be added to it. Uh, morning shots, early morning shots cost extra. Um, I always have done. Um, I, am, I am not an early morning person. But, you know, what is it to you, though? And you, know, you may uh, think, well, yeah, I've looked at all these various you know, professional landscape photographers, etc., etc., and they go to great lengths planning. Well, yeah, quite often because they're planning on how to sell their landscape photography courses. 
um, and trips and things. You know, it's, it's part of their business. It's, that's an aspect of it. Um, I'm talking about pictures taken here primarily for my own enjoyment. But think about what it is to you. Is it the walk, hiking across hills, just being out, being on your own? Is it the planning? Um, I'm not a great user of filters, never have been, too much faffing about. Likewise with tripods. I use tripods at night for light and for some architectural stuff where I want to make sure I've got it you know, spot on. But in general, am I interested in that for landscape? No. The weather, you know, that's a chance element in it. Is it the travel? Well, yeah, the travel's a bit of it for me. Um, I've got, you know, most, most of my favourite pictures were taken some distance away from where I live. Um, what does it matter to you? What's really important? And I, I come back to the original title, you know, the heresy of it is don't think that landscape photography has to be something that is carefully planned. You work out the angles, you go back, you go back multiple times. Great. If you like that and that really appeals to you, don't take my comments in any way as putting that down. It is what works for you and what gets you the enjoyment out of your photography. I did did a recent uh, video about you know what elements of your photography give you enjoyment. If that works for you, go for it. Lots of the pictures here. This is my book on tilt shift lenses. Um, obligatory plug. And the pictures in this are ones once again. Even these taken with tilt shift lenses. Uh, this picture of in Seattle taken when I was in the area. And this picture, yeah. That wasn't planned. Um, it's about what caught my attention at the time. Um, now, there are very different approaches to photography. So I say don't, uh, don't, don't think that I'm necessarily right. But what I would say is that if you share my views and you feel that sometimes the proper way of doing landscape photography is telling you you're wrong, then I'm saying you're not. If you produce pictures you like, then who cares? Um, obviously, I have the additional constraints for the architectural stuff. You know, the clients have to pay for them, but you know, get the enjoyment out of your photography. I have this one, this picture. I look at it regularly. It reminds me of a very pleasant day. Um, not pleasant weather particularly, but just a day I enjoyed. Um, and you know, enough other people have said they like the picture that, well, obviously I got something right in it. But anyway, if you've got any questions, please do let me know. Always happy to hear people's views on things. If you like all the planning and going back, revisiting, revisit to get something right, then by all means, go for it. Um, you know, it's whatever works for you. So I hope this has been of interest. Uh, one of my another one of my less technical videos. Um, I, I hope, hope people do appreciate this sort of stuff. Let me know. Uh, by the way, if you don't want to make comments um, in on the YouTube thing, uh, by all means, email me at Northlight Images. I'm always happy to answer people's emails. And it is it people's emails and questions that give me ideas for what to say. Anyway, thanks for watching. I forgot again to say, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, it is uh, it is appreciated. But uh, thanks again, and uh, I'll see what I can think up for next time. Cheers.